Okay, and let's move on to E and F just to finish off this question. So E is now a common question when it comes to functions where they ask about the length between two points. So it says, what is the length AB? Now, the length AB is alluding to the length between these two points here. We have the coordinates of A, but we don't have the coordinates of B. However, we know that the X coordinate of B is going to be two because it's on the same perpendicular line as A. So we know that already that's two, we just need to find the Y value there. B sits on our F of X line, so we can just sub in two and get the Y value and then find the length. So we really have a strategy there. So what I've done, written out F of X, subbed in two, here, a little bit of algebra, right? Shouldn't stress you out, right? And you should get that your f of x equals negative a half. Now we're not done. That's just that y value there. If I'm sitting at negative a half and I move down to negative one in my y values, what is the length? The length is a half. So you then have to say, therefore, my length, right, a, b, equals a half. So please make sure that you are writing out and answering the question that's asked and not just part of the question because that's the problem. As students get here and they've done all the hard work but then they don't give me the conclusion. So be careful about that. Last question. It says write down the range of f. Right? Range means what are the y values it can be. Right? So generally when I do this with my students, I say, okay, start at negative infinity down here. Right? Put your, put your pen horizontally like this and literally just push it up like this. What's the first y value it can equal? We're talking about f, not g. The first y value it can equal is, it can't equal negative one, right? Because it's the asymptote, but it's just, just, just bigger than negative one to positive infinity. Do you see that? Because it goes up, 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 and it could go up forever. So you just say here, its y value can be anything greater than negative one, but not including one, because it can't include one because negative one is an asymptote. Okay, so that's our question done, right? It's a pretty standard functions question, but this is where a lot of students lose their marks because they panic, because they just see all these unknowns and then they're kind of like, oh, I can't do this. So all you need to do is you need to make sure that you are taking this slowly, methodically, making sure that you know your theory. Okay, let's go into question six.